Pisces, hello. Welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you're doing well. It's been big, huge energy that we have been working through ever since that Pisces full moon. Wow, big, huge. So we're going to start your reading off with the Heavenly Bodies of Astrology deck to get a flavor for the energy of this reading. So this is a message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Pisces. Keep in mind, Pisces, these are general <laughs> messages. So take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Try not to build a story if it's not resonating for you. Check with your moon sign, check with your rising sign, check with your Venus sign, check with any of the other zodiac because we do have all 12 zodiac archetypes working through us and with us and around us at all times. So, whatever stands out for you, Pisces, let's get started. What are the messages for Pisces, please? What are we working with here? For Pisces. We have the North Node, Pisces. And I believe Pluto has been squaring the South Node. Duh, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, we've had a lot of revisiting the past, clearing up the past, clearing up past karma. So now we are working towards your North Node, your destiny. It says destined to have the head of the dragon. Let's see where this goes, Pisces. That's, um, that's big, huge energy right there. Because we have to go through all of the experiences in life that our soul signed up for to uh, go through, complete, understand, and grow from, evolve from, into the next cycle towards the North Node, our destiny. There's a difference between destiny and fate. If you stay, if you don't change, if you stay in the old ways and you are afraid to change, you refuse to change, if you are not learning your lessons, you're going to experience your fate. You're fated to repeat things again. History will repeat itself unless there's change. But when we finally get it and we grow and learn and evolve here in Earth School, we move towards our destiny. What we actually are, our soul actually, again, has signed up for why we're here. Each and every one of us has a soul mission, our destiny. So let's get into it for you, Pisces. We're talking about your destiny here. We have the three of wands. Beautiful. So you've already crossed the two of wands where that's where you're kind of like, mm, not so sure uh, what to do if I want to take this step or now not now three of wands is um you're being almost like anointed yes I'm ready to take that step now he's not fully prepared he only has one shoe on he's kind of looks like I'm really not sure what I'm in for but okay <laughs> okay I'll go because you can't go back. Once you pass a certain stage and you understand and learn a lesson, you can try to go back, but it is the most uncomfortable thing to go back into the old ways once you've crossed a certain threshold, the hermit. So yeah, uh, this is time to process everything, um, gain some new insight and understanding about where you've been and you might not know exactly where you're going but you certainly know where you've been and where you do not want to return to so that is a good thing i'm somewhat prepared you might still be kind of questioning yourself okay we have the two of wands yeah just like i said you might be kind of questioning yourself 
Am I really ready? I don't know. Did I actually learn? Look, here's the Hierophant behind him. Did I actually learn? Do I know what I'm getting into? And look what came out with it, Pisces. The Hierophant. The Hierophant is like, yes. Yes, you have. You know. You've learned your lessons. And even though maybe your ego still like you got some doubt and some concern or, or worries about your next steps your soul knows your intuition knows follow that follow your heart okay and the ten of pentacles at the bottom there you go your legacy this is everything that you your soul has desired your tribe your, your soul family everything that you need and everything that you Everything that you need is in the Ten of Pentacles. And then some. This is, could speak of prosperity, abundance of all sorts. So, let's dive a little deeper into this for you, Pisces. You're still a little, like, apprehensive, I feel. But that's okay. It's like, a, you know, a child's first day of school. You're ready, but you're really not sure exactly what you're getting yourself into, what's going to go down, what's going to happen. And so, yeah. And you look over to mom or dad or caregiver, like, am I going to be okay? <laughs> yes, you're going to be just fine, Pisces. You've been through a lot. Okay. Ace of Pentacles, fresh new start, new opportunities popping up for you. Prince of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, again, just confirming. Um, not really sure that I'm very confident in myself. There's a lot of self-doubt and worry. Um, you could be even like having judgments about yourself, um, self-criticizing. This, this is... This combination is just telling me that you're still kind of second guessing yourself in your head too much. That's why the hermit is here. Process this. You've got this. Whatever this new opportunity is for you, whatever this fresh new start is for you, you've got this. You've got the tools. You've got the knowledge. The Hierophant tells me you do. Six of Wands, you're strong, you're brave, you've conquered your fears, you've overcome so much so far. Give yourself a pat on the back, Pisces. Don't be so hard on yourself. Trust. Trust in this stage of the game is so important. Trust yourself, trust your intuition, trust in the journey. The joy is in the journey. There is no destination, truly. It is experiences that we are we signed up to have. However you get there, you'll get there. But you are guided. And you have learned a lot. You have more wisdom than you know. Okay. Hangman with the Hierophant. Yep. Princess of Swords. So you're being extra, extra, extra cautious. Pisces, you've got the, the Hierophant, the Hangman. Now, Spirit Source could have snagged you up for a bit and made things so that you couldn't move, hung you up, upside down, so that you the blood would rush to your head and you finally like, oh, I see. I see it. I see it from a different perspective. I see it from a different angle. Light bulb moment going off. Aha! Okay, I get it. Princess of Swords. I get it now. Wisdom. I see things from a, I see it all from a higher perspective, from a bird's eye view. Crystal clear. You truly do. You're just questioning. You're questioning this clarity. <laughs> Ace of Swords below that. Temperance below that. So this is your, your, um, this is the only thing that's challenging you right now, Pisces, is yourself. So why don't you get yourself out of the way and just flow with life. Okay, so we're going to get one more message for you, Pisces, here uh, to wrap this up. Please don't forget to click that like button if you are liking the video. I appreciate all of you who do. 
take the time to do that and uh, feel free to comment. I would love to read all of your comments and please subscribe if you're not subscribed. I truly appreciate all of you who do take the time to do that. And if anybody, if you or anybody else you know are looking for a personal reading with me, you can book that through my website, which is be the change 333.com. That information is in the description box below the video. All right, Pisces. Last message for Pisces. Okay, we're not taking all of the cards, but Sacred Mountain literally flew into my incense bowl here. So we will take that. Came out with aggression. So this must be an important message for you, Pisces. Sacred Mountain. This is one of those... <laughs> okay, we're just going to stay quiet here. <laughs> All right. Be still and take the time to move into the silent place within yourself. Locate your internal source of power. Meditate. Wait. Do not move forward until it feels right. Surrender to stillness. Do not take action. If you observe rather than react, you claim your power. <clears throat> your spirit, your native spirit wants you to know from the vantage point of the sacred mountain, your power grows. In silence, you'll find your sacred witness. It is the dwelling place of the soul. In peace, seek and discover your truth. Move past the bustle and clatter of life into sweet quietude. If you're in pain, don't lash out. Go into it until you find the source so that it can be healed. Resist the temptation to indulge in feelings of stress, urgency, and emergency. Your power is born in silence. This peace gives birth to your serenity. Seek solitude to listen to the voice of your higher self and awaken your inner wisdom. I see why the two of wands came out after the three of wands. You don't feel like you quite trust yourself and you're ready. However you are, but spirit is asking you to be still, be still, hang man and the hermit and know. Trust yourself. And when you finally get that feeling inside, that's like, all right, I got this. Then go. Because the opportunity it may be presenting itself now, or it may be hanging in the ethers waiting for you energetically to trust in yourself. But whatever it is, you are destined for this opportunity that's going to be presenting itself to you if it has not already. So that is what I have for you, Pisces, for this week. I hope that you find this helpful for you, and I'm sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.